I'm here today to celebrate the opening of Martin Creed's work 1059, um, a work on Edinburgh's Scotsman Steps in which Martin Creed, one of our finest contemporary artists, has worked with the Fruit Market Gallery and other partners to resurface the Scotsman Steps in 104 different marbles. When I started looking into the, the staircase, I, I, mean, I realised that the, whatever it was had to be uh, very functional and um, had to be water resistant, you know, and uh, hard wearing. And you know, when I first saw the place, it was quite a toilet. You know, it was quite um, scuzzy. And um, and I well, and I got to thinking that you know, for a hard wearing material that's very beautiful, you know, marble would be a good thing to use. If I think of my ideal of what kind of work I would want to make, like in a kind of fantasy world, it would be a work that had the kind of like had the whole world in it. And uh, this work, you know, doesn't have the whole world in it, but it's like an equivalent of the whole world in the sense that it's like, like the whole world of marble, you know. So that's that's kind of what it means to me. Although I don't ex necessarily expect it to mean that to anyone else, you know. Well, I was here in March when we were starting the work. It was very dark and dismal at that point. I lead lead step number four, which is the white one, and it's just great to come back and see it because it's quality. It's international. It uh, certainly gives a, a more than a facelift to the Scotsman Steps. It contributes in terms of concept and vision that you can make beautiful, perhaps places where and there has been a bit of vision in the past in building the steps, but over the years it was neglected. So I think it's a great idea, great vision, and congratulations to Martin Creed and to the Edinburgh Fruit Market Gallery and also to Edinburgh World Heritage for helping to make this happen. And I'm delighted it's funding from the Scottish Government from our Edinburgh Expo Fund that has allowed this to happen. Public funding is completely crucial to the arts. Um, at the Fruit Market Gallery, we're foundation funded by Creative Scotland. Um, for 67% of what we do. Um, we raise the rest ourselves through trusts and foundations, but public funding gives us the confidence to be able to plan long term, to be able to approach an artist like Martin Creed and say, shall we do something really extraordinary? I want to try and make work that, that um, you know, where you kind of don't have to read the label sort of thing, work that is sort of direct and simple, you know. and. Um, and that's why I like doing things in public because um, it's not like an art gallery where, where, where work is kind of cosseted and, and protected and often explained and you know, um, it's, it's, it's a very rarefied um, situation. So, and I, you know, I want like, I, I want to like make work that can withstand you know, a more sort of hostile environment. You know? Working outside in the public realm, as we're doing here with Martin Creed's new piece, is a way of bringing contemporary art out of the gallery and engaging with people where they are in a way that we hope will kind of sneak past them, that they'll be walking up and down the steps and they'll think, oh, something's going on here. And it will enhance their lives, it will enhance their experience of going up and down steps and it will help people, I think, understand that contemporary art is about making a context for your life, it's about helping you think about how life is, how you are in the world.